Think of a galette as a flat, free-form pie. To make an easy one, roll out a frozen pie dough into a 10-inch round. In a big bowl, mix together two cups of wild blueberries thawed from frozen, a tablespoon of cornstarch, a big squeeze of lemon juice, and a quarter cup of sugar. You can use any berry or stone fruit in place of blueberries, but wild blueberries are so small that they defrost quickly, they don't need to be pitted or sliced, and they taste more concentrated in flavor, that's why they are the easier choice. Sugar sweetens the filling, lemon adds much needed acid, and cornstarch will make sure that it gels together instead of leaking out everywhere. Also, blueberries naturally have pectin in them, so that'll help too. Lay the dough on a lined baking sheet, spoon the filling into the center, but leave about an inch wide border so that you can fold the edges over towards the center. The entire point of a galette is to keep it rustic, which is just marketing speak for imperfect. If it doesn't look symmetrical, it just means you can charge extra for it. Brush the crust with some cream or milk or a beaten egg just to make a sticky surface and sprinkle sugar on the crust. Bake it on the lower rack of your oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit until the crust is like darkened gold, about 45 minutes. You already know the tastier version is going to involve homemade pie dough, and honestly, if you have a favorite pie dough recipe, just use that one. I am an amateur baker at best, so I default to the serious eats technique of pulsing butter into flour, drizzling in some very cold water until it comes together, and fridging that for an hour wrapped in plastic. Their recipe is linked in the description. I will roll it out to another 10 inch round, this time without bothering to form it into a perfect circle, smear down a layer of full fat ricotta, and then pause to salt and pepper the cheese before dressing it in thin heirloom tomato shingles of varying colors. Tomatoes should be eaten in season, so only cook this on days between Memorial Day and Halloween. Sprinkle the tomatoes with salt and pepper, then fold the crust over just as before. Brush the crust with egg wash and bake until gold. Between the thick crust and the ragged edge, this thing is looking rustic with a capital R. Pour some rivulets of freshly made pesto and a shower of parm as soon as it comes out of the oven. Every galette is held together by the bottom crust, so that's why I bake it on the lower rack. No matter the filling, you should let it cool completely before slicing so the insides firm up instead of slop-dogging everywhere upon first slice. Honestly, any galette could be considered prettier with some artful filling arrangement, but if you really want to focus on aesthetics above all, start by halving and coring a couple of Bosque pears, then thinly slicing them, stopping short of the stem so that they can fan out while holding together. Roll out a round of pie dough, set a base layer of goat cheese, drizzle that with good honey, and then add those pear fans on top. Form the crust, hit it with a beaten egg yolk, and drizzle the whole thing in honey once more. Shower the galette in finely chopped rosemary and bake it just like the other two. The resulting dish will require you to eat around a couple of inedible stems, but it's a small price to pay for just a crumb of clout in this hellish new attention economy. Oh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Acorns has paid to be mentioned at the end of this video, and since it is a financial product, I have to be very specific in what I do and do not say. Acorns is a financial wellness app that makes it easy to save and invest every day in the background of life, starting with just your spare change. No expertise required. A lot of Americans struggle with saving and investing. Acorns can help you get into a better habit by doing it for you in the background. It helps you automatically invest spare change from everyday purchases or automate it with recurring investments in the background of daily life. You can sign up for Acorns in three minutes with as little as $5 and the app will automatically invest spare change left over from your purchases so all that spare change gets put to use while you do essentially nothing. They continue to add features beyond that spare change investment like a debit card with thousands of fee-free ATMs. Download Acorns and start investing with your spare change. You can get a $10 bonus investment if you use my link to set up an account. Terms and conditions apply.